Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys about the ADC pins on the Beagle Bone Black. What these pins do is they read an analog input and put it into a digital reading, if you will. This reading consists of 12 bits, 125 nanosecond sample time, 1.8 volt maximum input, and the pins draw 2 microamps. The tools we're going to be using are simple enough. We're actually only going to use an LED. It may be known to some of you, but to some of you it may not. LEDs actually produce a voltage when light is hit with them. Kind of backwards, if you will. The voltage really isn't usable, but it's it's there. And the, the current the Beagle Bone draws is just enough to run this LED. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use this property of the LED to read the current that is going to be coming out of, I mean the voltage that is going to be coming out of this Beagle Bone. And that's going to be in digital data and the values are going to be from 0 to 4095. Should be 96, but we're starting at zero, so, you know, basic digital systems. So, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to be using a website, and I'll leave it in the description. This website gives you a small chart right here, and it gives you the name of the pin. In this case, we're going to be using AIN0, and the physical pin number on port 9, this is right here, port 9, is going to be 39. We're also going to need the grounding pin, which is pin 34. And this one's name is GNDA-ADC. So the name is relevant, but the pin numbers are relevant. So let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to need to connect the Beagle Bone to the computer first. Then, in my case, I'm going to SSH into it. In order to SSH into the Beagle Bone, you're going to put type SSH Ubuntu at 192.168.7.2. The password, if you haven't missed with it, is TEMPPWD. So the first thing we're going to do is type this command exactly as it is to get the pins prepared for reading. So the command we're going to use first of all is sudo-i which logs you in as root. Type the password into your user and then you're going to um, echo cape-bone-iio. And you're going to put this arrow, and the file it's going to write to is sys slash um, devices slash bone cape manager. This number right here will change. It, it won't be the same every time, so you may need to look at the directory. And then you're going to, from there, you're going to put it to slots. And you can tell it, it'll work if it doesn't return an error. The next step is navigate to the directory that is going to have the files where you can read the data from. So to do this, let me scoot the terminal over really quick so that you don't get this file in the back. Okay, so in order to do this, you're going to navigate to this directory, which is cd slash sys slash devices, oops, sorry, devices slash OCP dot and it's going to have another number this one might change as well 
and then again another number but this file is going to be helper dot in my case it was 3 and 15 <laughs> and we're going to change to that directory now if we relist this directory you're going to notice it has all the AINs that we saw on that chart so if you remember we're going to be using AIN0 so if we cat this file which is the program I use to read files in the terminal you're going to see that there's already a value here and it's not zero. Why would that be? Well, <clears throat> these pins aren't in pull up or pull down configuration. So that means that they're just floating there. In order to correct that, you would need to set it up in a pull down configuration, which is pretty simple, but that's for another video, which I'll be making soon. For now, let's just play with the values that we get. So, let's look back at the website. As you can see, AIN0, the physical pin, is 39 on the P9 header. Then we have the ground pin, 34. So, 39 will be on the bottom rail because it's odd, and 34 will be on the top rail. Now, if we come over here to look at the LED, you'll note that the larger leg is going to be the positive and the shorter leg is going to be the negative. So that being said, the shorter leg will go to pin 34 and the longer leg will go to pin 39. So let's start counting. I keep losing it. Sorry, guys. 46, 44, 42, 40, 38, 30, <coughs> 36, 34. So right there, we've completed the connection. Now, let's read the value that we get now. As you can tell, the value went down severely. So the next step is, in order to test this, check it a few times. The value is fairly consistent. What we're going to go ahead and do is apply a, uh, a light to it. And see if the number changes. As you can tell, the number went up, which means the voltage went up as well. Now I'm going to shine it directly. It may be out of view of the camera, but you'll so you guys can see it right there should be more direct the number shot up much more so as you can tell it's doing a decent job at reading the voltage and that's how you would read the AIN pins if you guys like my videos like them and if you like my channel in general feel free to subscribe i really appreciate the support guys if you have any suggestions at all leave them in the comments i don't mind hearing them i actually vibe off of them that way i can tell what to do next in my videos and i would like to put a, a heads up out there that i am actually making a few apps for the beagle 